Well, your voice, your vote. And tonight it's the Democrats' turn to take the debate stage in Arizona's gubernatorial race. But only one candidate showed up. We get more from ABC 15's Jordan Bonke. Do we have an immigration crisis in Arizona? We do, Ted. What was supposed to be a debate between Arizona's Democratic candidates for governor ended up being a one-man interview with candidate Marco Lopez and Arizona PBS. After Wednesday night's contentious and oftentimes disjointed Republican debate, Tell let, them her, what let happened. her finish and then we'll let get me, back I really to would you like to know. The former Nogales mayor and Obama administration alumni wasted no time Thursday sending jabs to his absent Democratic opponent, Arizona Secretary of State Katie Hobbs. And the refrain has always now become, Donde esta Katie? Where is Katie? We asked the Hobbs campaign that question hours before the debate. We got this response that said, in part, she's out talking to Arizona voters, meeting them where they're at in their communities and hearing directly from them about their most pressing concerns, like how much groceries will cost next week or if their child would get a good education. Lopez talked about his education plan. He wants to put aside $2.5 billion for students prioritizing public school over charter schools. We have to invest in our public education system in district schools. Once we fix that, once we fix it, I'm happy to consider it. Lopez was dubbed America's youngest mayor when he held the office for the border city of Nogales at just 24 years old. His immigration plan calls on using $364 million to invest in infrastructure, technology, and manpower instead of focusing on a border wall. I'm tired of the smugglers winning. We've got to go after the smugglers, and we have to go after this fentanyl. I think that those are two areas that the state government can partner correctly with the federal government. On the Supreme Court decision overturning Roe v. Wade, Lopez unveiled a new plan to codify reproductive rights into the state's constitution and pardon health care providers that perform abortions. Afterward, Lopez told us women's reproductive rights are a top issue for AZ voters. It is a difficult um, issue for me as a man to fully comprehend because it's a difficult decision that women make with their families and their health care providers. Jordan Bontke, ABC 15, Arizona. Jordan